Good day everyone! Today we will learn how to find the sum of the interior angles of polygons, regardless whether the polygons are regular or irregular. The general rule to find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is to count the number of sides to be subtracted by 2, then multiply the difference by 180 degrees. We can rewrite this formula as S equals N, representing the number of sides, minus 2, times 180 degrees. It is common knowledge that the sum of the interior angles of triangles, no matter what type, is equals to 180 degrees. And for quadrilaterals, the sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees. Let's check if we can have the same number using the formula S equals N minus 2 times 180. Let's start with the triangle. S represents the sum of the interior angles, which is equal to the number of sides, and that is 3, to be subtracted by 2. Then multiply the remaining number by 180 degrees. So, S equals 3 minus 2. We just have 1 left to be multiplied by 180 degrees. And as we know, any number multiplied by 1 will give us the same number. Therefore, the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees as we expected. Using the same formula, Let's find the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral. S represents the sum of the interior angles. Quadrilaterals have four sides to be subtracted by two, and then the remaining number must be multiplied by 180 degrees. So S equals 4 minus 2. We have 2 left to be multiplied by 180. 2 times 180 degrees will give us the product of 360 degrees. Again, as expected, the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Let's try to find the sum of the interior angles of the given polygons below. Use the formula S equals N minus 2 times 180 degrees. How many equal sides does figure 1 have? That's right! This polygon has 5 equal sides. This is called a pentagon. Using the formula above, we can find the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon. That's S equals the number of sides of a pentagon, which is 5, to be subtracted by 2, then multiply the difference by 180 degrees. Continue with S equals 5 minus 2. There's a difference of 3 to be multiplied by 180 degrees, where we get a product of 540 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. How about the second figure? How many equal sides does this polygon have? Clearly, this figure has six equal sides, and we name this type of polygon as hexagon. To find the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon, we take S as the sum, which is equals to the number of sides of a hexagon, and that is 6, to be subtracted by 2, and then multiply the difference by 180 degrees. Continue with S equals 6 minus 2. There's a difference of 4 to be multiplied by 180, where we get a product of 720 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. 
Now that you know how to find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, are you aware that we can also find the size of each interior angle of a regular polygon? We can absolutely find the size of each interior angle by simply dividing the sum of the interior angles by the number of sides. For example, the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540. If this number is divided by 5, we get a quotient of 108. This means the size of each angle of a pentagon is 108 degrees. How about a hexagon? The sum of the interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees to be divided into six angles. Therefore, each angle measures 120 degrees. Try to do these simple exercises by yourself. Study the given polygons below and complete the table. The number of sides and the sum of the interior angles. You can use the formula S equals N minus 2 times 180. Identify the size of each interior angle by dividing the sum of the interior angles by the number of sides. You can always pause this video and take as much time as you need. Once you're done, we can proceed to check your answers. Let's start by filling in the number of sides. The first figure is a seven-sided polygon, also called a heptagon. The next one has eight sides, which is called an octagon, followed by a nine-sided polygon, also known as a nonagon. The last figure is a decagon, which is a polygon with ten sides. How about the sum of their interior angles? You can drop your answers in the comment section. For the heptagon, the sum of the interior angles is 900 degrees. For the octagon, it's 1,080 degrees. 1,260 degrees for a nonagon. And 1,440 degrees for a decagon. Have you got the same answers? Now, Find the size of each interior angle. All we need to do is divide the sum by the number of sides. The first one is 900 divided by 7, which will give you this exact number and still can be rounded off to 128.6. Do the same with the rest. Each interior angle of an octagon is 135 degrees, 140 degrees for the nonagon, and 144 degrees for a decagon. Were you able to complete the table correctly? If you found videos like this useful, a like would be appreciated. PDF files of the lessons are available on our Facebook page. Should you need a soft copy of a particular lesson, you can always send me a message. This would be all for now. Stay safe, everyone, and have fun learning.